Hey guys, this is Linton with Quality Pro Reviews, and this is part two in my resampling in Reason 9.5 series. So, if you stumble onto this video, I'll just ask you kindly to go to part one. So, it will be in the top right hand corner, and the link will be in the description as well. All right, so we're going to pick up from where we left off. We've already uh, bounced out our file. And here it is. Here's I'm just going to solo it so we can listen to it one more time. All right. So that's the entire performance. So in part one, we basically just took it on the surface just did some cool stuff using effects and that was cool but now we want to take it up a notch and get some creative juices flowing so what we're going to do we're going to take this sample and chop it up and then bring it into some way of just resampling it you know, just playing around with different pieces of it just to get a totally different performance out of it right so I'm just gonna unsolo that track and first thing I'm gonna need to do is to basically slice this thing up so you're gonna double click uh, on the uh, waveform and now we're in slice edit mode so thankfully because of how the performance was done it's just samples we basically have all the points we need so all of these little markers here are slice points. Um, if this wasn't how we wanted it, we could use this selection tool and just select and delete. So I could just click on one of these and now you see it selected and delete, but I'm happy with everything as it is. So I'm going to undo that. If I needed to add more points, I could use the pencil tool or W key and wherever I'd like, I could just add in more points but as I said earlier this is perfect how it is right now so I'm not gonna mess around with it and just so you can see everything lines up perfectly I'm just gonna play it one more time really quickly so you can see each one of those hits is right on the grid and the slice markers are right in place so this is perfect so I'm just gonna go back to my selection tool and in slice edit mode as it is now, I'm just going to right click over that waveform and I'm going to go to bounce. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do bounce clip to rex loop. So now in my all self contained samples folder, I now have this file. And if I wanted to do more stuff with this, I could right click on it. I could export or delete but I'm happy with it as is. So I'm just gonna stop the autoplay because we already know what it sounds like. And I'm going to exit slice edit mode. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna mute this just so that we don't get any overlap. And I like keeping uh, this in my, in my current session. I could always get rid of it later, but it's always good to keep your original performance just so you don't lose it. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to my rap mode. So we have a Rex file. So in most cases, you'd probably want to say use the Dr. Octorex. But in this case, I'm going to show you one method that I used to uh, just basically use a Rex file and just have fun with it and play around with the slices. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to create. And I'm going to create a new Kong device. So under Reason Devices, there should be a Kong Drum Designer. So now we have a new Kong device out. So first thing I'm going to do is open up the Show Drum and Effects button. And here you get a listing of all the different drum modules and drum effects that you can add, additional buses, so on and so forth. So I'm just gonna click on this downward arrow here and I'm gonna add a Nurse Rex loop player. So this is basically a more compact, smaller version of the uh, Dr. Octorex. 
a smaller feature set, but you can still get a lot done. And I'll show you how. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of these. Perfect. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to track one. And what I'm going to do under song samples here, I'm going to go to all self-contained samples. And I'm just going to drag in that sample. I'll turn off autoplay. And I'm going to do this to all eight. Also, while you're loading in your samples, ensure that you set the hit type for each pad to chunk trig. Really important that you do that. All right. The next thing I'm going to do after that, I am going to set the drum assignment for each pad. So to the right here, you'll see a drum assignment section. You're just going to hit the Q, which is the quick edit mode. And I'm going to set pads one through eight to to number one. So each pad is going to be assigned to pad number one. So in most cases, you wouldn't want to have this setting, but because I have the same sample on all these pads, what's going to happen is that I need it to trigger the same sample, basically. So I'm setting all these to number one. So once I have that set up, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my pad group and I'm going to set my pad group A to mute. And then in quick settings, quick edit mode again, I'm going to make sure that pads one through eight are set to mute group A. All right. All right, perfect. So I'll exit quick edit mode. So now what you're going to notice is that on the pads, I should be able to click each pad one through eight and I should get something like this. And because I've set basically each pad to cancel out each other in the mute group, I can hit pad one as many times as I want and whatever a pad I hit next it will mute the one before it so this helps so that I don't get any overhang or any bleed with two samples playing at the same time which Sometimes you might want that effect, but in most cases where you want a really clean, seamless blend from one sample to the other, you'll want to set up your mute groups like that. So that's basically it. The only thing I'm going to do now is just turn this up a little bit. I'm going to go to about 120 and I'm just going to play them through on my keyboard. So already you can just see just experimenting and just mixing and matching and doing different variations. You can get some really, really cool combinations. So I hope this video was helpful and have fun with this. You can get a lot of different combinations, uh, just slicing up and chopping up your samples like this. And this is very reminiscent of, you know, MPC style chop. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, truncating, how you would have each slice basically mapped to a pad with that classic 4x4 style grid. So this is awesome, and this is one of the advantages of sampling. You, I could take this one performance that I did in Reason, and I could make uh, five or six different beats out of this just by rearranging the notes and the harmonies. So... I hope this was helpful. 
Uh, if you like this video, leave a like and share this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.